And joining us here from fox26houston.com is Officer Amber Khan with the Houston Police Department and Muslim Community Liaison. Uh, Officer Khan, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Yes, definitely. I appreciate it. And uh, are you native to Houston or where are you from originally? Uh, well, I've been in Houston for most of my life, so I'm definitely Houston proud. And um, originally my family, well, my family uh, moved here from Dubai, but before that um, they were in Karachi, Pakistan as well. Nice. I have, I'm half Pakistani myself, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so you were essentially born Muslim, I guess, or how long would you say you've been a practicing Muslim? Yes, I was born into a Muslim family. Nice. And so how long have you been working in law enforcement <clears throat> and what inspired you to join HPD? In other words, like, did you always know you wanted to be a police officer? No, I didn't always want to be a police officer. I wanted to be other off the wall things <laughs> that are not expected of um, our people. But um, I, I've been with the police department for 13 years and I was inspired to join HPD because I actually met an HPD officer uh, who's now a sergeant. She's an amazing, strong, powerful, like um, very empowered female. And um, so I met her while I was doing my internship at CPS, uh, while I was doing my master's degree in social work at U of H. And so I was already in the mindset of I want to do some sort of field work where I'm helping people and making an impact in the community at large. So um, I met her there and um, I was like, wow, yeah, I could definitely do law enforcement. So yeah, that's why I'm here. Just want to that's help awesome. People. Well, and, and speaking of helping people, how does it what is it like to kind of serve sort of as a bridge between Islam and law enforcement to those in and outside of the Muslim community? Well, actually, so actually, um, just to specify, I'm, I'm the community liaison for the Middle Eastern and South Asian communities. So not just the Muslim okay. community. Uh, we have such a diverse population of people from all over the Middle East and then all over like the South Asian um, continent, you know, like India and Bangladesh and Pakistan, Afghanistan, all of those places. So um, trying to bridge all of those <laughs> together. And, um, uh, but it's, it's great. It's, it's been a great opportunity. I'm fairly new to this position and I'm still getting to know uh, members of all the different communities. And it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, and what sort of feedback do you get from people when they hear you're Muslim and that you represent the South Asian and the Middle Eastern community? I've uh, gotten positive feedback. I think everyone's, it's really nice to see, I think, women doing this job, right? Especially from our side of the world. It's not something that we are pushed towards. It's not something that's expected of us. Uh, culturally, I feel like we're uh, somewhat more passive, right? Uh, as uh, women from our cultures. And so I think it's just refreshing. I love it. <clears throat> and, um... What uh, what is one of the main questions as a as a Muslim as a police officer who just so happens to be Muslim that you get asked frequently and how do you answer it? Well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I I think the thing with me is that I don't quite necessarily look a certain way, so a lot of times people will think I'm like you know Hispanic. Um, that's common or sometimes people will think I'm Middle Eastern or whatever the case is and my hair is kind of different and stuff and so um, I don't know I haven't really been asked those questions specifically because since we're such a diverse city you know and um, and there really are like so many Muslims on the department as well just with Houston so oh wow I didn't know that yeah <laughs> yes that's awesome and Ramadan is around the corner. Are you ready for it? Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. <clears throat> and how do you define Ramadan in the most simplest terms to your non-Muslim counterparts? So Ramadan is a time of reflection to better yourself as a person, right? Um, and to really give back to our, really give back to people that need it, right? People in need and to, um, you know, yes, we don't eat and drink from sunrise to sunset. But at the same time, we're supposed to be focusing on how can I be a better person? How can I make 
somebody's day better? You know, what good deed can I do today? And uh, just to evolve and grow as better people, as better Muslims. And could you elaborate a little bit on that? Because it's not just eating, but what else does it enti entitle? So uh, there's, you don't eat or drink anything. So no water, <laughs> not even water. And um, from sunrise to sunset, and we have to pray too, right? Because if you're going to fast, then uh, you kind of have to do it all, uh, you know, the proper way, uh, which means prayers five times a day, uh, one prayer before the sun rises, after you've eaten, and then there's three other prayers sort of during the day. Um, and there's then there's the one like at night and a lot of times that uh, at nighttime there's also like those extra prayers that you can go to the mosque or even you could just pray them at home if you wanted to but generally people will go to like a mosque a local mosque and they'll have prayers the whole month and um, really just you know to get more blessings it's a very holy month and what well, i'm pretty sure what well, i'm pretty sure like because there's so many Muslim police officers in the Houston Police Department, which I didn't know of, do you still get asked a lot of questions about Ramadan, about fasting? Yes. So people are still not like fully aware of what it is. And Chief Finner um, just actually put out an email yesterday letting everyone know uh, sort of a brief synopsis of what Ramadan is and what can be expected of patrol officers, for instance, who will have to call out to eat you know at a certain time right and um and that kind of a thing so but yes people still are not fully aware of what it entails what it means and uh, you know i think um I, I do my best to explain it to people everyone that i work with definitely knows uh what's going on and, and all of that so what's one of the most like frequently asked questions you get during this time definitely the not even water <laughs> <laughs> we had, I had one guy who uh thought well if i drink black coffee it's zero calories that shouldn't count right right you will also ask it like oh so you really lose weight this month or you know or like do you just eat like a, a lot and like when you finally can eat and it's like no i can't eat that much <laughs> <laughs> what is one of your stay up what is one of your feet <laughs> Yeah, right. If only. <laughs> what is one of your favorite things about Ramadan? Mm, I love uh, the time with the family. It's yeah. um, it's nice, you know, the coming together. And then um, I like going to pray for the Rabi, like when I can, you know, when I'm not exhausted. <laughs> and, um, cool. and I love cooking and preparing, like, you know, the iftar and having, you know, get togethers and um, you know, passing out food also at the mosque or, you know, donating and, and all of that. It's all, it's all nice. Well, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but does HPD plan to like, or yourself, do you plan to uh, do any big like events coming up uh, for Ramadan? So we will actually be um, partnering with uh, the Arab American Community Center, who will be hosting a food drive, a refugee food drive, actually, during the month of Ramadan, so coming up. And then, um, you know, there's just lots of stuff, stuff going on around town. And um, we might be doing something for our Muslim officers, for our HPD officers that we work with as well. Well, no, I hope you'll keep us in the loop for that. Um, yeah. The last few Ramadans have not been looking the same due to COVID-19, and it certainly has been easy for law enforcement officials either. So while I have you, I'd like to ask, how are you feeling? In other words, do you feel comfortable going out to the mosques for prayer and even going out in public to open your fast? Yes, no, I feel more comfortable now. I think everyone has a better understanding of COVID and everything that it entails. And so, you know, I'm still, of course, practicing, you know, like, you know, walking around with hand sanitizer and, and that kind of stuff and trying to keep my space a little bit. But but no, I, I feel comfortable with it. And, and uh, hopefully, uh, inshallah, this year we'll have our uh, prayer also, you know, at NRG. And so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. What sort of advice would you give, would you want to share with Houston Muslim, Muslim community to, with respect to those who just might be afraid to be out late at the mosque or even just go out in general though? 
Well, um, I would say that, um, you know, in general, just be cognizant if you are out and about. I know like one of the newer trends that started before COVID was the whole um, being out for Sari, right? Those big grand buffets are doing all you can eat like Sari's at like three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh, well, just keep in mind when you're out at that time of night, that there's also a lot of other stuff going on, right? Like all there's like more crime. Uh, there's a lot of after hours clubs that are open. So you have to be cognizant of like, you know, drunk drivers and that kind of thing. So just be careful uh, where you go, where you are, be cognizant of your surroundings, right? Um, and um, just just be, you know, cautious if you're gonna be out like in the middle of the night for Sari time. I mean, I know that's a great time. It's fun and people are having a good time and, um, you know, <laughs> enjoying themselves, but just be uh, careful of where you are, you know, what, what, what time of night it is. And um, if you're with a group of people, that's always better than being by yourself. Uh, don't leave, you know, expensive stuff in the car, things like that. Just, of course. You know, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we end this interview? Um, hmm. Are you fast? Or you're, well, you're I'm, 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 I'm going to be fasting. I'm not fasting today, but I'll totally be fasting. No, not yet. Not today. <laughs> not today. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, at least who, whenever the person's watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. um, um. No, I think um, I think this is really good, and I think that we still need uh, more awareness of Ramadan and um, you know what all it entails, just so that our counterparts, um, you know, can be a bit more um, not accommodating, but um, understanding of uh, perhaps you know how how things are a little bit different for us this month. I love it. Well, we'll end it right there. Uh, Officer Amber Khan with the Houston Police Department, the South Asian Middle Eastern Community Liaison. Uh, thank you again for taking the time to speak with us. Yeah, definitely. Nice meeting you.